Well, I really would say Lolita will be preventing death as well. That was definitely going to be the most vital role in Evo's Legends' lineup that we just saw. And wow, another match point for RRQ. Could this be it? Could this be that sort of a game for them to win? In my mind, both of these compositions are not safe. They are highly dependent on execution, highly dependent on making sure their mechanics are in tip-top shape. They cannot make a mistake in any of their mechanical abilities because it's not something like, you know, it's not something simple like a Ludox. It's not something simple or brain dead like a high loss where it's just a point and click. And as long as you're in good position, you don't have to worry too much. It's extremely scary because one kill could end the game. Yep. One shot and they might just lose it right there. Now, we're, we're having so many of all these theory craft every single time we get into it, yes. to that draft. But looks to me, the last time that this sort of similar uh, sort of fielding of heroes that has been played out by the current Evo's Legends for this game itself, didn't really seem to be having a strong footing, but I do hope that they can prove me wrong right here because everyone here hoping to see the first ever best of seven, seven games in a row for either side of these teams to come into effect. Yep, a great showcase of skill, a great showcase of power. Let's see whether Evo's Legends can push it all the way to game seven as we load into the game quick. Here is the lineups. Rex, Reagan, Keon, three to two. They are definitely one of the hot favorites out there. Well. I, I'm not too sure how's the ratio like back at home in terms of uh, fan base, but <laughs> some some of them told me that you know you cannot outfight all Five the number of fans of Evo's Legends the because field. you saw the Smash stadium. Them. A lot of them came in with all full swag, deployed. full swag of jerseys, full swag, headbands, uh, what else? Flags, Jackets, drops, flags, drops, you name it, they have it. I'm not too sure. Like, what do they not have? But RQ, I'm pretty sure $400,000, they can equip themselves even with more merchandise. Even more <laughs> swag to bring it to the next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how this game plays out as Aura is going to be on the bot side by himself. Masha getting impressed on the top side. They're going to be A-OK -okay for now. But so far, a lot of respect going to both sides because I kind of expected RRQ to try and make a play. And uh, oh, no! Oh, wow. Liam stole away the buff. Well, call the police because we got a team right here. And here comes lots of flicker coming into oh, the table. He oh, my what? gosh, he took retribution. He stole oh, it with a dirty. retribution. Okay, that is dirty. I mean, who would have thought? Like, well, definitely Liam don't really need that flicker anyways because that tank will not be uh, heavily focused as compared to the rest of these units. But huge defense system going on for Evo Legends as we try to protect of that side and they lose out on the Rebo Crab as well. That is very rich uh, Croc in this game. <laughs> wait, wait, what's going on here? Who's the real carry this time round? Is it Grok or is it Lemon? I can't figure it out. But so far, RRQ are slowly getting ahead. But the next upcoming wars, they have to be very, very scared of this Grok. That power nature has a high base damage and not to mention with retribution as well. He's not going to be able to be locked down. He can kind of just walk in and be like, yoink. That's yep. my lord. He's going to yoink in even more camps Turtle as we see him rotating across and towards the mid lane as well. Setting things off as we see RRQ just pulling a lot of triggers right here. And Mouse is going to be chasing over onto Wreck early game. Yep, love uh, massage of chemicals. Well, hoping that uh, the members of Evo's Legends could actually respond to this to really get Luminaire. Now on that, Lolita gets knocked up uh -oh. in the air. Liam will not be able to actually commit further than that. Yeah, this is now this is where, you know, the breaking point has begun. Somebody needs to make something happen. Luminaire gets disarmed. Sin has to pull on backwards, but wait a minute. Right. Guthuru might be in a little bit of trouble. Luckily, he was able to roll out of it with the Death Sonata to the top side of the map as that last insanity kind of misses. Yeah, I would say that there's still more chances intact for both of these guys, but look at Luminaire alongside with Wreck. This is Sin or is having enough wave clear advantage. Now, back to the drive while we go. Donkey going in for the flicker as well, but that is the ground right First in front of it. First one. one handed over to RRQ. As we see, Liam also getting chunked out, and Lawyer can uh -oh, he run. Uh -oh. That's insanity. 
one for one. One for one, pretty good. They kill the Grok. Now they don't have to worry about someone jacking away the, the turtle this time around, but they're gonna go back into their lanes. Sid was able to break the top tier one. That's pretty good considering everything that has happened. Now consider this done as RRQ open things wide and only the mid lane will be the tier one still standing for Evil's Esports. Evil's Legends first slowly trying to actually scale up in terms of momentum. They still need to farm up, but Sid not really giving them that enough time. That's going to be one knockup onto one. Liam don't really have that opportunity for that wall charge. Pretty good play coming in from RRQ, to be honest. They get ahead with that two turret lead in their pocket. Now, even though they did lose one to one, they were trading one to one. That didn't seem too good. Oh no, one. He's in quite a bit of damage here. He has to kind of sidestep it. But the AOE is really, really powerful, especially in the early stages of the game. And he doesn't even have items. But Luminaire takes a little bit of hits from the third hit of the Jakundo. The rest of the team kind of peeled backwards as RRQ trying to maintain control over this river on the top side. I think they, they want to get this turtle. They definitely could just start it from this point onwards because the rest of the team for Evil Sleds are occupying the bomb side. They are prioritizing on towards that tower instead. So they will lose this one out as RRQ now gets the first turtle. Yeah, they're going to continue to maintain their dominance here as EVOS Legends have shifted their attention from the top side to the bottom side. They want to go for the next turtle, most likely, but Sin is taking quite a bit of damage here. Going on the all-in against Aura, but that might not be a good idea. Down to the bot side, they lock down. Donkey does catch. Ranger through the roof. Might be going down. One more hit. Zoom Blast to try and disengage the team. Rin is trying to go into the back line. They get a good kick onto Donkey, but Donkey still has plenty of health. He should be able to make it out of there. Gets chucked out. Ooh, the Power of Nature doesn't exactly land. Well, great lightning bombs. Great work coming out of the members of RRQ. Now, no Luminaire is just going to be absorbing a little bit of that heat. Same goes to Lemon as well. First for RRQ. Still 2-2, two to two, but in terms of gold, they have definitely uh, had a huge leap after getting so many of all these objectives. They got the Turtle check. Same goes to the two towers, top side and bottom side. Now, what they can possibly do is go in with oh, Moya no! Dragon, going in with a huge shot as well. Donkey makes it out alive as this kind of moves backwards. Evos Esports, and they are just slowly coming across and towards the mid lane. They know that there's enough pressure coming from the lead there. Trying to go for a cast against Luminaire as well. Evos Legends still hanging on this sort of battle there. Or a fine bloodless axe. I've never seen a game so tense before. Both sides showing a lot of respect. They're not just going ham and trading for the sake of trading. They are calculated. They lock down Vin. Vin Shimpos and Jakundo's on out of there. Donkey has to try and kind of peel away the wave. Guardian's Barrier comes up to kind of put some space in between them, get a little bit of damage down, and the chip continues as Sin scales into the top side. Vin almost getting a little bit of suppression. As we know, Divine Judgment could lock him down, but of course, uh, if they do slide off in time, then too bad for him. Sin's just gonna be facing off against Aura. Less than sadly being utilized, so he will still be pretty much safe. But now, Chang'er, does she have that mirror shower to just stop this way, pushing in RQ on that second attempt on that turtle. Ice Queen's one just being purchased by one here. That's gonna be a huge buy. And same as Lemon, both of them are trying to get ahead as possible. Donkey. Donkey's in a lot of trouble. He has to get on out of there. The Destinata has to almost get his kill. Whoa. The player, he actually lands it in. Now, they're trying to turn this around. RQ get the first initial kill. One takes quite a bit of damage here. Numenor Blast secures them. Another kill. Finn goes down. He flickers into the brush. Aura. He survives. Aura tries to join the fight. Way of the Dragon gets the initial kick. Finn needs to get on out of there. Something needs to die from the side of our RQ and it's going to be the Grog. And the Grog will fall out. The last inside of being popped but the mid lane has to be crushed out as well. Rex Regan Kion has that win-win condition. No matter what, it's that sort of 50-50 that they take when they get that 51%. Yeah, this is just whew, a solid game coming into this. Evos Legends, they're playing, dividing their time. They're trading one for one. And now the score hasn't really changed too much. Turtle in control of Evos' territory, but this could be really risky. Vin sliding out of the back. Trying to actually get a little bit of patches here. Aura does pop his last study, but instead, look at the trade off there. Sin, one Kill more shot, and it's a killing screen for the expert. And more fights ensue as we see RRQ here coming up left. I got to take over on a Liam as well, but can Evos proceed? Oh it's Luminaire, can't take it down for a double kill on Jutsuru.
Wow, that was a really good Guardian's Barrier there. It kind of blocked off the rest of EVOS from going forward. Both Watt and Rek didn't want to loop around to maybe look for a kill because that will put them out of position. They were just out of range, which is kind of unfortunate if I have to say so myself. I would definitely say that's definitely not uh, so fortunate for them at all. Now, heading into its eight minutes and a half in terms of kills, it's really close for both sides. Yeah. But that's one kill being given away in that previous uh, battle right there where Evil's Legends had to just let that Loyota pass by. Well, well, what can they do? I mean, more importantly, the goalie developed by RRQ. We've seen this before. Ooh, Lemon forcing out uh, the black shoes straight away. But <coughs> more importantly, RRQ have secured more objectives, which in fact has given them quite a decent lead over EVOS Legends. And EVOS weren't able to recover the last time from it. So based on that alone, they might be able to catch them off guard. EVOS, hopefully they can come back into this game. Well, uh, definitely uh, going on a little bit of that relapse for a moment. And as for some of all these players here, we're looking at the Granger here with the Endless Battle, and they are just scaling off the charts. This is going to be Luminaire bringing out the shield, trying to get, go in for a little bit more commitment. A little bit of positioning, not really favoring the side of RRQ. Pretty much a huge split, as we see a little bit of a dancing lord in between. They are still looking to stop it, and Dark Shoes being utilized there by Lemon. Donkey not really fully committing to this, but here comes Aura there, trying to actually chunk down the help. Sin still have another bar to go, and here comes Donkey as well as Luminaire. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're committing to this. Uh, Liam doesn't have the power of nature. I'm not too sure why they didn't want to yank it back and get the free kill. Luthuru lets on a great that's another Donkey, Donkey gets caught. Whoa! Oh, Thunder Kandos are now. Finn is taking so much damage here, but they're able to do it. Flicker into Numenor Blast. He makes it out with one HP, and now Evos have to pull back. They gave away the kill. They prioritize trying to get Duturu a little too much. Donkey, the best tank we've ever seen, falling flat with Duturu, just landing that critical shot, bringing down that Kaja, and why? Rex Riku, Keon at least, gets one more, and we saw that the last one. Wow. What in the world was that damage output coming from that Death Sonata? That was scary. Oh, looks like Vin trying to make a play there. The arrival coming in early by the x -Borg. He has nothing to do topside, therefore he is going down to bot side to hopefully keep it in check. Now, checking every single lane as they go. Chang Er protecting that top side, which means that RRQ will send members in towards the Lord section. And they're already being the first line of defense for Evil's Legends. Slowly getting themselves uh, into it. the H brush. That's going to be Donkey oh. coming in with the Shadow Map. This is a perfect catch for them as they manage to actually get them low. But oh! No way! Oh, no way. oh thank God. Oh my God. I never thought he would have made it out of there. Vin should have definitely died. I thought he got super, super lucky at the end there. He was playing that absolutely well, canceling into the Shunpo very, very quickly after the third hit of the Jakundo. But my god, Hora is, in, Hora is in a lot of trouble. He's pulled back. He doesn't have the Firaga armor. And Juan can actually turn this around. He does, He has the Meteor Shower, and there he is. He gets two kills up on the top side. But that's not going to be enough for RRQ to lose their lead because they are still 7k ahead. Well, at least they draw the line between the skills and they needed a Chang'e to be right in front of the Masha. So they found that answer to this solution. Well, oh, well, I, I definitely can't fix myself for a moment, <laughs> but here comes Luminaire. Uh, just got hitting that shield up. And oh! Donkey! Shut down. The disrespect! You can't walk up that far. Now Lemon's in trouble. You have to use the black shoes as well as the flicker to get on out of there. Luminaire, very close to die, forcing out the flicker as well. Vin got pretty close, but Donkey ain't gonna let him go. Wreck as well as one. A great Guardian's bearer coming up. No chemical refinement coming in from Wreck, but it's just not enough distance for him to commit to that fight. Well, Evil's Legends, I can see they are here to take this game. They are here to prove every one of these guys RRQ that they can beat them for the second time coming if they were to come back onto our this upper bracket. Well, there's no more brackets. There's only the grand finals for them to fix it, their eyes on to claim their throw. The uh -oh, RR once uh -oh. more. Uh -oh. Oh, Sin going in. He doesn't oh, win oh. this. He doesn't win this. He forces oh, yeah. out the flicker for Sin. He has to turn off his passive or at least hit something for the there he goes. But one is there to cut him off. Another kill going on for Evo's Legends. RRQ is starting to crumble. 
RRQ slowly losing the plot right here. And Vin, every single time he goes in for a fight, he will be picked up at least. And Luminaire getting tankier and tankier. And Donkey was just one of the baits right out there, just waiting for that perfect divine judgment. Now that they've already flushed off some members of RRQ, then it's their turn to make a move. Here it comes oh. in, going in with great knock up in the air. And here it comes. The rest of the members going in for the chase as well, trying to take down Vin as Vin takes on to three. And Evo's Legends will be able to take him down for that mega kill. Going in the hands of one. One still looking for more. To two, force away. And three members are out from RRQ. Well played coming in from Evo's Legends here. I don't think anybody realizes that, but One and Aura are really far ahead. They're four and zero. As long as Luminaire blocks Tuturu's death Sonata with that Guardian's Bulwark, he is going to be considered the MVP. We are speaking of MVPs right now, and Evo's Legends seem like they have found one in the bumps of Aura as well as one. These tag team. They do not seem to be. That's a perfect combo if you think of it that way. Wait, but it's wait, a wait a minute. Formula. Did Watt just buy a Wind Talker? Yes, he did. Why did he buy a Wind Talker? Wait, what's going on here? It's Hold up. Hold wind up. Talker Chang -e in the oh. Grand Finals. Oh. Let, let's digest this for a little bit. In what scenario should this be brought out? Why? Does he get does he get the immediate uh, wind talker uh, wind talker proc off of his auto attacks? Uh, like what's going on? Like I can't understand. Donkey. Oh, donkey! He actually goes in. He gets kicked back by the way of the dragon. Numinous Lord is knocking onto that tier two. He breaks. They trade one for nothing. Thunderbell has Breaker. just been purchased by the Granger. He's going to be huge. Top side, Aura is going to be going down. Oh, He's in a lot of trouble. Finn is making it all happen as the two fights happen at the same time. Sin can't actually get ahead. Luminaire Leo. is trying to block his way. Finn's in trouble. He's taking too much damage. He flickers. He gets hit with a third hit. Luminaire. Luminaire. Yeah. Luminaire is able to pull it through. Two for one. Evil Legends are walking Aura. through. Aura has done it. They're breaking through to the inhibitors. My goodness. Evos now will break down the inhibitor and Evos Legends escorting this wave. It's all down to they one. Got it. They got it! They got it! The is now only down to sin. They are trying to do it. Oh my God. No. This might just be game seven coming in the way. Evos Legends, they they're bringing this this game and one away to finish things up. We are going in game seven. Evos oh Legends. Oh my God. No way, Evos Legends off of one mistake from RRQ. Take the bait, take the sick hook, line, and